are, are actually to seal, to store, and to marinate in one compact item to be able to give your food longevity. Exactly. So it doesn't go stale. How many of us have gone for the chips and <laughs> they are just like, oh, what happened to you? You can't just eat one chip when the food is stale. <laughs> well, we're going to make sure you eat more than one chip with this system because it's a vacuum saver. It's 23 piece set for the jars and the bags. It's $19.95. It's the lowest price. It's just been reduced with our reduced shipping and handling to get it at home. What you doing there, my friend? Oh, I'm playing around. <laughs> Mark, Mark Gill is joining nice us. Nice to see you. Hi. I'll tell you what, we're all looking to save a buck here and there. Yeah, we're all we looking are. to shave a little bit off the monthly expenses. Let me show you the first and easiest place to look, and that's right in your own pantry, because the less right. food you throw out, the less money you have to keep spending. This so let's so start, smart. and you're right, this is a nice big kit. We're going to give you everything we need and a couple of pieces that you've never seen before. So let's start with the jars. Now there's always good, better, best. Mm -hmm. Glass is best. Right. So the three jars that you're going to get, the one liter, the 750 mil and the half liter are all glass. I love that. And the magic is in the lid. These are the type of jars that people seek. These are the ones you want because this removes the air and the moisture from the equation. Air and moisture is the enemy of food. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. So when you can remove that air and that's what's happening here, here is you see the mark marshmallows expand, the what? air is coming out of the chamber. So now imagine if this was chicken or steak. As you as you pump the air out, it creates an opening in the fibers of the food, just like it's doing in the marshmallows. That allows you to marinate food faster rather than letting it sit for 24 hours. Look at the size of those marshmallows. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And I want to show you something kind of neat, because okay. I want you to see. Now we have red or navy, just to clarify for Absolutely. Everybody. Your choice of color. Your choice of color. And all of the pieces are in the red or the navy when you right. pick. So now what I want you to see, have a look at the flower here. This is a kind of a demonstration that I love because as I pull the arrow, you can see all the way down that it's removing the, the, the air all oh the way down. My. You see what's happening I've there, guys? I've never heard this with you before, so I'm shocked. <laughs> Isn't that neat? You can see the air coming all the way down, not just from the top. It's removing it evenly from the jar, and when you let the air out... You see what just happened? Everything settles back down. So guys, have a look here. Okay. Just some different ideas for you, and you can have a listen here. The air stays in there until it's ready to come out. So your cookies, your cereal, your oats, your chocolates, your snacks, your coffees, your rice, all of these jars, of course, are gonna hold all of that. And when you can remove the air and remove the moisture from the situation, we all know what happens to food, right? Right. You tend to get you, a little more mileage out of it. Well, you do, and you preserve that food. Think about how much your grocery bill is. Think about, the other day I went into my pantry, I was like, oh, this is stale. And I threw it out. This was stale or right. out of date. And think about how much food you throw exactly. out. Exactly. Now imagine, instead of throwing that, you know, that food in the trash, you're extending it. You're extending that life. You're keeping it fresher. You're removing the air from it. And a system that, quite frankly, is, I mean, these jars are beautiful. You would leave them They're sitting gorgeous. out. You know, at the, at the clearance the price that we're seeing, if it was just oh the gosh, three glass jars bill. with the vacuum lids, hello. <laughs> but but we're going to give you a lot more tonight because that's what we do on clearance days. This is one of the coolest little devices I've ever seen in my life. And guys, I've been doing this for decades. This is the same technology that you find in our jar lids. But what we've done now, we've, we've given you a way to make it completely portable. So I'm about okay. to show you a way to turn every single bag into a ceiling bag, the ones you spend so much money on. So here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna start with bags that have the zip top. Okay. Now a lot of people go, you know, well if it's got a zip top, what on earth do I need any kind of ceiling system for? I want you to watch this, okay? You take out your very expensive piece of beef jerky, you seal this bag up just like this. Guys, all you've done is you've replaced the air that's in the bag with new air. You might have a zip top top, but all you've done is you've locked those guys inside, right? You know right. what I'm saying? So watch what's going to happen. you've broken the seal. Exactly. You've broken the seal, you let the air in. So watch what's going to happen. The valve comes apart in two pieces. Now, okay. you can use this on any plastic bag. The inside part has air channels that are going to allow the air to come out. And then all you do is you line up and you hear the snap. That's it. So now watch what happens. Okay, when nice. I clear and when I close the zip top bag, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pump that comes with it and watch this. Now I've turned the bag that the food came in in the first place Stop into it. a sealed bag. The air is out, it's out of the equation. I didn't need a big piece of equipment. I didn't need electricity. Well, I didn't, didn't need, need a learning curve. You didn't need special bags. Because exactly. how many times are the food sealers, you need special bags to preserve it. And of course we exactly. are including some bags for We are gonna include some bags as well. We're gonna give you every way possible. So let me show you that one more time because this now, is does completely that make reusable. A hole in the bag? What it does is it pierces the hole in the bag. So as long okay. as you are using this bag, this valve is going to turn that bag into basically a bag sealing system. And then when you're done, when the beef jerky's all done and you've enjoyed every last piece right down to the freshest last bite, all you do is you take this out. 
and you use it on your next it. bag. It's completely reusable, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer wow. safe, fridge safe, the whole nine yards. These are gonna last you and last you and last you. So now let's talk about bags that don't have a zip top. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get, in addition to the pump, the three jars, the, 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 the lids that go on the jars, the three valves in your choice of color, but you're also going to get, oops, you're also going to get three bag sealers. These are designed if you have bags that don't have the zip top. Mm -hmm. So let me show you how this works. You're going to take that same button. Okay. okay. Remember what I told you on the bottom? This is specifically designed to have air channels so air can flow out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific. It just has to be in an open part of the bag. Then I'm going to take the top part of it and I'm going to squeeze it till I hear a click. That's all I have to do. Now remember, I'm not transferring bags. I'm not using a bag that a manufacturer has, has, has made me buy. I'm using the bag that my food came in in the first place. And so I can reuse that. So we need this because this has to create the seal. It's got to create the seal at the top. Okay. The and now the top. I can get all of the air out. What's cool is I have complete control. I'm not going to crush the chips. All I'm going to do is take the air out ah. so those can last a little longer. There's another buck, two bucks, three bucks that's you know, not going to hit well, the garbage. It all adds up. And exactly. when you think about it in the end of the day, we want that dollar to go further. We want that food to last longer. But a lot of times, because of the air and the oxygen, spoils that food or it goes stale or ants or bugs exactly. get into the flour, to the sugar, to the cereal, to the cheese puffs. All <laughs> the fun things that we like, we now are preserving it and extending that shelf life but the food is still going to retain that flavor. Really quickly for a $20 bill for $19.95, just want to remind you, your choice of red or blue. Pat, which one will sell out first between the red or blue? Okay, so about equal here for what we have to go around in your red, in your blue. Three jars, your glass jars with the vacuum sealed lids, plus you're getting three of your valves, three of the bag savers as well, three of those, plus you're getting the pump to remove the air, and you're getting 10 of the quart bags. So, I mean, think of everything. Mark is right. Even if you were just to buy the glass... Absolutely. Listen, glass glass jars, jars. For $19.95, that would be a good deal. But now that you're able to take that pump and remove the air, that is what takes it to a whole new level. Reduced shipping and, or sh reduced, uh, shipping and handling for you. Two flexible payments of $9.98. Let's continue to show more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the bags that we include with it. Okay, we're going to give you 10, 10 nice large bags, and these are designed to fit with our sealer. So again, I'm going to show you how this system works. The magic is in these buttons. This is the coolest thing, man. I wish these came on chip bags to begin with. Because right? like we said, you know what? That's what ends up costing our family so much money. You throw out that last half a bag of chips, that last little bit of rice, that last little bit of pasta. You know, whatever it is, it's been sitting out in the elements long enough that the family doesn't want to eat it. You know what? I'm going to use the same color just so people don't uh, think that there's a mix. The blue comes with the blue. The red comes with the red. Now, when you're putting the bag sealer on, it doesn't have to be straight. doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to seal the top of the bag. So mm -hmm. now what I've done is I've turned our bag into a complete bag bag sealing system. So here's the reason that I chose the chips. Now again, it's going to let enough air through the channels on the inside of that little button that it's going to go ahead and it's going to take the air out of the equation. I don't have to worry about losing this to too much air, too much bugs, too much moisture. Mm -hmm. But guys, watch this. You're in complete control. So no matter how much it requires that bag to be sealed, you can just keep removing the air, removing the air, but what you're not seeing is a big piece of machinery, an expensive piece of kitchen equipment, a whole bunch of used up counter space, and guys, as I take this off here, watch. Yeah, you could have not crushed those, but you Literally it. turned it to dust. Are you kidding? So that's the whole point. You have complete control of everything that you're I'm doing with this system. I'm thinking there's this cheesy potato recipe that I make with these corn these corn flakes on top right. that I crush with like this little kitchen hammer thing. <laughs> I would stick it in here, <laughs> I'd pull the air and I could crush it and it'd save me an extra Extra step, right? Exactly, but the exactly nice thing right. Is it's reusable. Those I'd valves love that part. are reusable. So you're not wasting money here, exactly. not even on your food, but also on the system itself, right? Mark? Exactly, exactly right. You're getting those 23 pieces. You're getting everything you need. You're getting the pieces if you want to put the food in those glass jars and remove the air from the equation. You're getting the pieces that you need to work with zip top bags. You're getting pieces that you need to work with bags that don't have zip tops. You're getting everything you need to ensure wow, that the that most like food can be held for the longest time in your cupboard. And yeah, listen to that. Guys, the air yeah. is gone until you open that bag. That and like we said, it's completely reusable. A lot of bag sealing systems, once you open that bag, now you have to throw it out. Right. That's a 
That's a good gig, man. I want to be the guy that sells right? bags at her one-time uses. Are you kidding me? That's what they do. That's <laughs> exactly. what they Exactly. And don't forget, you get 10 of the plastic 10-quart uh, bags. You're getting 10 of them. But even if you don't want to use the bags that come included, of course you can. But you can seal in the original food bag. Exactly. So if it doesn't have a seal, like your sugar, your brown sugar, your coffee, or maybe it's going to be a bag of potato chips, because Lord knows I got potato chips in my house. <laughs> I know I don't need them, but those, covered, those I mean, darn <laughs> bogos get me to buy them every single time. But almost 600 already That's spoken fun. for. You can see the counter at the bottom of the screen. I mean, a $20 bill, $19.95. If you want, if you're trying this for the first time, use FlexPay. You have 30-day money-back mm -hmm. guarantee. I honestly, if you've seen vacuum seal systems on the market, you would easily spend more than $19.95, and you wouldn't even be getting the jar. Honestly, right? I love that right? they're glass. They're glass. Good, better, best. I love that they're glass. Me too. They're, they're beautiful. Oh, they, they really are. They're yeah. nice. And I mean, red okay. is one of the most popular colors that we decorate our kitchen in. My home is actually blue. So yeah. you know what? We really picked the right colors here, too. Now, guys, listen to this. There's coffee. a reason for that. There's a reason coffee's vacuum sealed. I love a fresh cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. I know when it's been out too long. Problem is, these bags, no matter what kind of little twisty, ropey, bendy thing they put on, never gives you back that type of vacuum seal. So I want you to watch this, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use one of the bags that we're gonna include. And I'm gonna take one of our buttons and I'm gonna show you again how this works. You've got the air channels underneath. This is gonna allow the air channels to come, uh, to, to allow the air to be drawn through. That's gonna go on the inside of the bag just like this. Okay. Now the, the second half of the button, and again, these are dishwasher safe, freezer safe, microwave safe, the whole nine yards. All you do is you remove any creases just by giving it a little pull. And I'm walking through you step by step so you know exactly how to use it. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, this takes seconds in your own kitchen. So you're gonna go ahead and use the bag sealer up top because I don't have a zip top bag, okay? And I'm gonna grab my pump. Now remember, coffee is vacuum sealed for a reason. It's supposed to stay fresh. It seals it's not, in the freshness. Exactly. You're not supposed to expose that to air wow. until it's time to enjoy. So guys, this is what the manufacturer wants you to have. That's what you're gonna have every single time. So if you love that fresh cup of coffee, enjoy a few extra cups out of mm -hmm. that bag because I think they're charging five, six, seven bucks for this now. You know what I mean? Right. But that is true. What do you do with that? And a lot of us have all these great little pretty decorative jars, but the decorative jars don't seal in the freshness. Exactly. The air and oxygen still gets in. The bugs still get in. Um, if you're camping, if you're taking beef jerky, if you're taking any kind of foods for a camping trip, for an right. RV trip, this is gonna be great. One of the things I wanted to point out, listen, these don't, sorry, I'm gonna reach over here. These don't take up a whole lot of space in your kitchen. <laughs> they sure don't. I mean, think about that. If you're putting this in your kitchen drawer, this is about, this is what you got here. I mean, look at this. And then these jars, you're gonna leave out because they're absolutely beautiful. Maybe these are jars you're gonna fill with the sugar, the coffee, the things you use right, every exactly. single day. The rest of this is just gonna go right in your kitchen cabinet. It's not gonna take up a lot of space, but the bottom line is it's gonna save you money. It's gonna save exactly. you time. It's gonna save your food. And for $9.98, what do you got to risk? Just try it on those two right. monthly installments. Well, I know from, from your Facebook page that uh, you guys are outdoorsy people. You <laughs> yes, love to spend are. your time there. We do. So if you are a camper or a hiker or a biker, I got to ask you something. Do you want to bring any big pieces of equipment or giant bags or things that are going to take up a lot of room in your backpack nope. to keep your food fresh? Or would you rather pack this? Guys, if you're in the dorm, to your point, if you're in the office, it's a great thing to have. And, you know, a lot of this food, beef jerky especially, nuts, anything like that, cheese, is not cheap, you guys. You're spending a lot of money on it. Mm -hmm. So don't let the elements add it any more likely, than you have to. Because you're buying it, you like it, and you want it. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, so if you don't want to buy it again. <laughs> exactly. You want to save money. Exactly. And we'll end up here with a little bit of brown sugar right there. So guys, watch what I'm going to do. Okay. Here's your little tab. You're just going to take it apart like that. When it comes to rice, when it comes to flour, when it comes to things like brown sugars, oh, this, is, so this is the best. So here, I used this bag a little bit earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line up that same hole because I want okay. you to have a look. All you're going to do is the pointy end goes through. This Lock clips it. just like that, locks in place, That's and then so you go ahead and seal the top and remove the air. Guys, 23 pieces, you're going to love it. Right, and there's no big machine, right, Mark? No, no big machine. Because typically when you think of those vacuum sealers or those bags that you wrap and seal it all in and remove the air, they're huge. Right. Uh, Mark, we always love when you're here. I know Aww. you're going to finish up this Thank demo. You. I am. <laughs>